So what you're about to see um, is what I showed at the Vintage Computer Fair. Uh, this is my 1000. Uh, she's slightly improved, but not, not a huge amount. She's got um, an 8 megabyte um, RAM card from a 4000 for an adapter, which is most important is 8 meg. Okay, that's very important. And uh, a DCTV plugged into the back. So uh, what she's capable of doing, as you can see here, is 24 bit um, video. Um, now, your, the, the sound is not synchronised with the video, um, bear this in mind, this was a long, long time ago, way before anyone was doing video synchronised. Um, I'm sure it could be done, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's software out there, but I just don't have it. So um, this is the result of an awful lot of work, uh, and you can see that, um, if I show you, this uh, video here was taken off of the internet, um, and <laughs> there's a video of my computer, oh, this is <laughs> I'm freaking out of it. Um, my monitor's disappeared, so I'm going to use my great big one here, but uh, that's coming straight out of the back of the DC TV. All right, so I hope you enjoy, and here it is. Most, for people to know, is that in spite of the many arguments and differences we had along the way, and in spite of all those early compromises, both between the president, Dave Morris, and myself as the vice president, and between us and Commodore also. I believe that Dave Morris and I have both finally achieved our goals. The Amiga now has become both the best game machine and the best computer available in its price range. Some claim at any price, but I think they exaggerate a little bit. There you have it, Amiga 1000 live, straight out. What can you say? Best machine ever made. Thanks very much.